हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आर सेकेंड वीडियो आई होप यू हैव सीन द फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद आर चैप्टर टू ऑफ सिविक्स दैट इज वॉट इज डेमोक्रेसी एंड वाई डेमोक्रेसी अलोंग विद दिस वीडियो यू हैव टू ओपन योर बुक एंड यू हैव टू सिट विद योर पेन एंड पेंसिल सो दैट यू कैन मेक योर नोट्स राइट स्टूडेंट्स वट वी डिस्कस येस्टरडे वी डिस्कस वट इज डेमोक्रेसी and the features of democracy we discussed yesterday the rulers are elected by the people free and competitive elections are held each adult irrespective of religion education caste color wealth have one vote and one value the elected rulers take decision within the limit set by constitutional law and citizens right and now here what is there yesterday we discuss about the one person and one vote means one person is having the one vote and one value in the country like india and now here is the next feature rule of law and respect for rights rule of law and respect for rights what is there in rule of law and respect for right you know since independence since independence zimbabwe zimbabwe ruled by janu pf ruled by janu pf zimbabwe attained independence from white minority rule in 1980 when zimbabwe got independence in 1980 from the white minority white minority means like on india there was rule of britisher like there in zimbabwe there was rule of white people but white people were in a minority and the minority were ruling over the majority so what was there after getting after achieving independence since then since 1980 the country has been ruled by janu pf the party led by the freedom struggle what was there there is the name of the party that is janu pf and who was its leader its leader was robert mugabe its leader was robert mugabe you know what was there elections have been held regularly and always won by janu pf what was there janu pf means robert mugabe was the leader has been ruling the country since independence and what was their elections have been held regularly and always won by janu pf what what he was doing president mugabe what is the name robert mugabe popular but uses uses unfair practices in election what was their what he was doing he was harassing the opposition party workers what he was doing he was harassing the opposition party workers and what he did he declared illegal what he declared illegal public protest demonstrations against the government he declared illegal so it was there over the year government has changed the constitution several time to increase the power of the president what the robert mugabe did what the robert mugabe did what he did he changed the constitution the government his government changed the uh, constitution to increase the power of the president to increase the power of the president and make him less accountable to the people less accountable means uh, people can't question to the rule of robert mugabe right this was there and opposition party workers were harassed and their meetings were disrupted means they were not able to held the meetings so public protest demonstrations against government were declared illegal this there is a law that limits the right to criticize the president there is a law that limits the right to criticize the president means there is a law that limits the right to criticize the president what was there in that right people's right were limited 
that they can't criticize the president because president got the more power television radio are controlled by the government that is known as censorship that is known as censorship media what is censorship censorship means media is not free to publish anything or to uh, print anything against the rulers that is censorship so next what thing was there that independent newspapers are there but the government harasses those journalists those who go against it independent newspapers were there but what was there whosoever were printing or publishing against the robert mugabe they were harassed by the government they were harassed by the government right so next thing is there the government has ignored some courts judgment that went against the government and has pressurized the judges see what is there there are some independent newspaper but government harass those journalists those who go against right the government has ignored the ignored some courts courts judgment and pressurized the judges it means what was there the judges were under the control of robert mugabe the judiciary was not free if the judiciary is not free then obviously they will give the decision in favor of the robert mugabe so what was there a demo in this case government is not democratic as there is no there is no citizens basic right no political opposition or no judiciary if these things are not there that citizens right are not there citizens uh, that political opposition can cannot be there if no judiciary is there then this type of country is known as not considered as the democratic country a democratic government rules limit within the limits set by constitutional law and citizens right what is there means in the democratic country judiciary is free or the government has to work within the limits set by the constitution means government has to do the work according to the constitution this was there that rule of law and respect for rights so come to the summary that what is there a democratic government rules set within the limits set by the constitutional law and the right and here is the summary what is there that rulers are elected by the people to take all major decision rulers are elected by the people in democracy first thing what is democracy democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are uh, rulers are elected by the people another thing rulers are elected by the people take all major decision means those who are elected by the people they take major decision elections after a choice offer a sorry offer a choice of fair and fair opportunity to the people to change their current ruler means a free and fair election this we have already done next thing is there this choice and opportunity is available to all on the equal basis of uh, on the equal basis means everybody is having the right with the age of 18 irrespective of their age or gender or caste right means one person one vote the government exercise this choice leads to a government limited by basic rule of the constitution means the government this this thing we have read that the government has to do the work according to the constitution means within the limit of the constitution and citizens have the right in the democracy so next topic is why democracy why there is need of a democracy why there is need of democracy some points are there in against in against the democracy and some points will be there in favor of a democracy here arguments against democracy so what is there in arguments against democracy leaders keep changing in democracy this leads to instability this leads to instability what is there in democracy after five year elections are there after every five year elections are there general elections are there then what is there in that maybe this time and one government is there maybe in next election another government is there that leads to instability instability means sometime one government sometime another government that is in instable government 
so they are not able to take the big decision democracy is all about political competition and power play there is no scope for uh, morality means uh, they are doing the work they are compete they are allegation they are putting allegation on uh, each other they are using the power they are using the power they are using the goons at the time of uh, election there is no morality in the in the political parties or in democracy and next thing so many people have to be consulted in democracy that leads to uh, delays what is the uh, in democracy no single person can take the decision no single person can take the decision many institutions are there that needs to consult in implementation of one decision so what is the uh, when many heads will be the uh, when many person will be consulted in any decision then it leads to delay elected leaders do not know the best interest of the people it leads to bad decision of oh, generally what is there the elected leaders are from the rich section of the society so what is there they do not know what is actually beneficial for the people so what they are doing they are taking the decision it leads to that is a, that are bad decision right next thing is democracy leads to corruption for it is based on electoral competition because competition is there what the political parties are doing they are purchasing the votes they are using the bribe they are giving the bribe to the people for a vote the democracy leads to corruption for its for it is based on electoral competition another another point ordinary people do not know what is good for them they should not decide anything there is no role of ordinary people once they have they choose once they have decided once they have given the vote to any person afterward there is no role of the normal person that they can do anything in the politics so this is their uh, arguments against democracy next thing broader meaning of democracy or uh, arguments for democracy first is arguments for uh, democracy a demo what is what are the arguments for democracy means points in favor of a democracy what are the points in favor of democracy that a democratic government is better government because it is more accountable form of a government like in china what was there in china one only one party was there chinese communist party and that party is not answerable to anyone but in democracy what is there government is responsible to answer accountable to the people means if people are asking something from the government the government has to do the answer why they have to do the answer if they will not do the answer to the people in next election people will not vote to them and they are having the chance to lose in the next election right another thing democracy <coughs> improves the quality of decision making democracy improves the quality of decision making when many person sits together in taking one decision then what will be there that decision will be good that decision will be good right so democracy improves the quality of uh, decision making another point is the uh, democracy provides method to deal with differences and uh, conflicts democracy is there uh, that provides a method that uh, like india is a diverse country so government is dealing with the conflicts and differences Con differences are there that different kind of people are there and they are having conflict democracy is accommodating between these people right and next thing is there democracy enhance the dignity of a citizen in democracy what is the government is sorry people are having self respect if somebody is saying anything wrong to the another person they are having the right that they can go to the court that they can go to the court so democracy enhances the dignity of the citizen if you will give respect then you will take respect this is there in democracy and next and the last that democracy is better than other form of government it allows us to correct its own mistake if something happen in the democracy democracy is best form right better form of government um, other than other form of government 
whether the other form of government like uh, dictatorship monarchy military rule democracy is better because people are having the chance to correct their own mistake right they can go to court for the justice and everything they can do as per their own wish so democracy is better than the other form of government because it allows us to correct our own mistake so next thing is there that broader meaning of a democracy last this is the last thing of the chapter broader meaning of democracy what is there the most common form the most common form that democracy takes in our time is that of a representative democracy where majority is allowed to take decision on the behalf of the people what is there in democracy that the elected that the rulers are elected on the basis of majority and people are electing their rulers right people are electing their rulers so what is there the majority of people rule through their elected representative what is there in democracy what is there that people are elected by the sorry the rulers are elected by the people and indirectly people are ruling over the country democracy means the rule of a people the rule of people it means the elected leaders has to do the work on the behalf of the people so uh, a democratic decision involves consultation with and consent sorry consent of all those who are affected by that decision means it the every decision is taken on the behalf of the people that if what are, what will be the consequences if they will pass the any decision they are discussing and they are consulting all the things so democracy is a principle that can be applied to any sphere of life democracy can apply to a government or a family or to other organization right so these were the point and uh, here our chapter is uh, over here chap our chapter is over so what is democracy democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people and we have read about that features of the democracy the rulers are elected by people free and fair competitive free and competitive elections are held each adult is having right to vote one vote one value elected rulers are taking the all decisions rule of law the rights of the citizens are protected and uh, there must be an independent judiciary in the in the democracy so this was there and uh, here our chapter is over thank you and uh, please make notes of the chapter in a separate notebook separate means all four no all four history geo civics eco in one notebook that can be any old notebook please make extra questions from the chapter right thank you